Hey, welcome back. This is a fire sign reading uh, for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius for the first half of April, 1st to the 15th. Um, this is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everyone. Uh, take what you need and throw the rest out. Uh, if you've got to stretch it like a rubber band, not your storyline, I would strongly urge you to um, pull your natal chart and get information on your moon, rising, and Venus signs. Um, if you watch the other readings, they may resonate. You may be able to get some nuggets of information off of those readings as well. If they fit your storyline. Um, I've already pulled all the cards. I have actually done this reading three times today and I did it like four times yesterday and energy was just really scattered and I was really having a hard time, um, deciphering the information in front of me. So I didn't want to put the readings out because it just, it didn't feel right. Um, but let me get really, let's, let's just get right into it, okay? Because it looks looks really good. Um, it's a very consistent storyline that I've had. Even with the readings that I did yesterday, I got a lot of the same cards. Um, this is a whole different spread from what I was doing yesterday, and I still got the same card, so the energy is really fluid right now. Um, bottom of the deck, you got Six of Swords, which uh, we know is, we're, we're, we're sailing away from this. Um, these choppy waters taking our lessons and we're sailing towards, we're going towards smoother sailing waters. We're going to calm, to a more calm environment, more calm um, state of being. And the bottom of the deck for major cards was the Emperor and this is the card of Aries. But if you are embodying this card, this energy, this is the energy of all four kings and this is somebody who is very much in control of, of his environment, his or her environment, very much in control of, of yourself. Um, as of right now, you are looking out to the universe for expansion. You want something more out of life. And now you're kind of at a, a space of, do I stay or do I go? Do I stay here with what I know or do I take this passion and go out into the world and go get what it is that I want? Do I go after something new, something that is more towards um, my desire? Okay? Because what we're all trying to get to is this Ten of Cups. I don't know anybody who's not trying to attain Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is wish fulfillment. This is the ultimate, ultimate happy. The two happy, happy cards um, Ten of Cups and um, Ten of Pentacles, like emotional abundance. This is the happy, happy place, and this is where you're trying to go. And fire signs have lately been coming up as the King of Pentacles, embodying the King of Pentacles um, energy of, you know, there are no risks. There's no rewards without taking the risk without, um, you know, jumping into the fray. And right now we're in Aries season. We have a new moon coming up on the 5th. So new moon in Aries is going to prompt people to uh, be bold, be daring, take the leap of faith. Uh, we also have the star card and the high priestess. And so for this placement here, um, there is, the star card is a card of Aquarius, but it's also, um, there's healing here. There is, um, it's like wish upon a star. But what happens here is that the the spirit will give you, the, they're telling you here that your wish is about to come true. However, be mindful that when your wish comes true, it may not look like you think it should. It may not appear or present itself in the image that you have in your head, you just have. So that means you're gonna have to be paying attention. Pay attention um, to the blessings that come to you because they may not look like what you think they should, okay? We've got the Three of Wands coming forward and the Ace of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. This is an offer. You're waiting for your ships to come in. Here's the offer. There's a solid offer and it's coming from the divine, okay? Again. Your wish is coming true. Might not look like what you think it should, but it's coming. Two of Cups. This is the offer. This is an offer of now. If I had to make it a look, this was about love. There's this is an offer of love that comes with something very substantial here. Okay, um, 
but it's going to lead to your ultimate happy. It may not look like what you think it should. And this stuff is happening behind the scenes to make it happen, okay? Um, use your intuition, follow your gut. Listen to your gut. Um, you may also be in a, in a position right now where you're not really talking about your plans. Don't, I wouldn't. Uh, keep it to yourself. We also have the Page of Cups, the King of Swords, and the Knight of Swords. So the Page of Cups, um, this could just be you um, maybe using your intuition or just tapping into your intuition, into your intuition. Or um, this could be a message, pages or message, messengers. Um, this could be someone coming to towards you with an apology. Um, the King of Swords is someone who it's very discerning. He's he uses logic over emotion. He is very fair. Um, he's also uh, quick to cut out the bullshit like his counterpart, the Queen. Uh, he's not here for your bullshit. And the Knight of Swords is either someone rushing in towards you with truth and clarity, or um, this is you going towards your goal with uh, single-minded uh, determination. We also have it crossed here with the with the magician card, and with the magician, I have the magician in between. Um, like if you could see the way it looks here, I have the high priestess, the ace of pentacles, the magician, and the two of cups. So you are actively manifesting this whole scenario. You have manifested um, this offer, um, whether it's an offer of love or a new employment, new opportunity. You are doing you are doing the work to manifest this and make it happen. The death card comes over the page of cups and the knight of swords. I actually pulled more cards to clarify just because um, I'm not really sure. It's like death to a, death is changed. Death is that's a positive thing. It's death to a way of being. Um, and so m the cards that I pulled to clarify was the page of wands and the five of cups. So with the page of wands, page of wands is still it's it's. A message of you know a passionate new beginning a new offer because if even if it was because for me the page of wands he's carrying the the ace of wands he's, he's holding the ace it's holding one it's a new opportunity um, having these bright ideas not really move there's no movement there but with this five of cups this is crying over spilled milk so maybe you're coming out of this energy you're you're living in the now and you're you're getting over this disappointment of the past because this is past this is past all is not lost because you still got two cups in front of you okay so this board looks really good you've got a new offer coming in it's coming just hold tight okay um your oracle cards Relationship. Your primary relationship is with yourself and God, and every other relationship follows from there. To attract, heal, or balance a relationship, then snuggle more closely with your loving creator. As you feel safe and loved within, so shall your other relationships bloom and prosper. And then you also got let your past go. The burden of carting around your past has made you weary, dear one. It's time to set the burden down. Keep only the lessons and the love and leave everything else behind. You don't want it or need it, and now it's gone. That has been your um, your reading for the first half of April. Again, um, we've got a new moon coming up on the 5th, and then we've got the full moon on the 19th, and I believe full moon's gonna be in Libra. Uh, it's focused on uh, like love and relationships. Might be kind of gnarly. Um, anyway, I hope you guys have a really good week. Um, I'll probably come back with love readings. Maybe. We'll see how it goes. Um, like I said, my energy's been kind of all over the place. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a really good day. Again, this is for Fire Signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, first half of April, the 1st to the 15th. Have a good one.